Welcome to the beginning series, front side leg day. 40 minutes, warm up to cool down. Let's get started. Take a brief moment to look at the program and understand what exercises you have to do, how long it's gonna take, and what equipment you're going to need before you begin. Once you have a good understanding of what you're supposed to do today, now you can start your warm up. Your warm up will consist first of an incline walk and a decline walk. You want to set the incline at a 6. You want to set your speed at a 0.5. As you get more comfortable, you can always increase your speed, but never go past a 3. Our main goal here is body realignment. Most of us tend to walk with a posture that is too far forward or too far backwards and it tends to misalign our bodies. If we do a proper incline walk and decline walk consistently, over time, we can realign our bodies into their natural positions. The next section of your warm up is a five minute stretch. I have laid out a set of stretches here that I believe, if you do properly, will get your body to its normal extensibility. The goal while stretching is not to overstretch or understretch. It's to get your body to feel good. Everything we do is about feeling. You must remember that. So if there's a set of stretches that you like better than what you see here, please do them. You know your body better than anybody else. So do the stretches that make you feel comfortable, but you must stretch every day at least five minutes a day. So take these stretches if they look good to you and make them work for you or do your own, but always stretch before you exercise. And remember, stretching is a feeling based game. If your hamstring is more sore than your quad is, stretch your hamstring more and vice versa. You need to always be in control of how you feel and understand that's most important. Now let's get started with the main work. Exercise number one is the leg press. Before you start any machine-based exercise, make sure you adjust the machine to fit your body type and set the weight stack at a weight that's appropriate for your current strength level. Every machine comes with a descriptive sticker that shows you how to set the machine and also how to adjust the weight. When you're looking at the leg press here, you want to make sure you drive through your heels. You want to make sure your butt and your back and your shoulders are firmly connected to the pad. And you want to make sure when you get down and you lower the weight, you slightly tap and you push out and you drive back up. Your second exercise is going to be the seated leg extension. With the leg extension, it's super critical to make sure you don't firmly grab the handles. Just a light grab. You keep your back, your shoulders, and your butt firmly attached to the seat and you keep your toes pointed towards your stomach. Flex your feet, flex your toes. Exercise number three is a body weight squat. With the body weight squat, we want to make sure we want to drop down as if we're sitting in a chair. We keep our back straight, we keep our head up, and try to keep your eyes facing forward. Remember, we're doing four exercises, two sets, eight repetitions, two minutes in between each set. Exercise number four is the reverse lunge. The most important thing to focus on when you're doing the reverse lunge is your balance. Take your time. You don't need to step back super fast. and You don't need to pop up super fast. Also, make sure you're not driving your knee through the floor. You can tap your knee, just don't drive it through the floor. Keep your back straight. You can keep your hands up to your sides. Either way, it's just fine. Awesome, you finished your four exercises for the day. Now it's time to do your cool down. 
we like to start our cool down with a five minute bike ride. Remember, you choose the speed. Just make sure you keep an upright posture and do not grab the handles too firmly. The second portion of your cool down is the Stairmaster. Make sure you keep an upright posture. You can grab the handles, just not too firmly. And always ensure that you choose a speed that's appropriate for a cool down. Remember, you're cooling down, getting your body and your heart rate back towards normal ranges. That's super critical. You're cooling down. Great job. See you tomorrow, champ. And remember, don't be that person. Wipe down and re-rack your equipment. Stay strong, Osiris Strong.